I'm gonna work on this dresser. This, when I ordered this, I actually ordered this offline off of something like Wayfair or something like that several years ago. And it said wood, so maybe it's wood, but it feels like laminate to me. It feels like it's got a laminate finish. I believe it is laminate. Let me show you something else here. I don't know what the heck, where, for one, I don't know where the heck all this dust comes from other than I live in the country and that's the way it happens. But somebody has spilled, I think, wax maybe on here and then tried to scrape it off with something. And I've already cleaned this. I cleaned all this stuff this morning. So I may need another primer here. Some people may would want to put a little Bondo or wood filler and make all that smooth if this if i was doing this project for somebody else i may would think about all that but i'm wanting it to look a little bit distressed and everything anyway so i'm not worried about um what that's going to look like afterward but i'm still wondering if i should put a little bit of primer there and i may but because this surface is slick i'm going to go with the dixie bell slick stick first and what i've done so far is mixed myself up some cleaner and cleaned the whole thing off made sure that the wax which is what i believe that was on there was all removed because that will prevent the paint from sticking and from all the pieces except this one i've removed the hardware and always the way and i know i'm out of the picture a little bit here but i'm sticking let me see if i can put this up there for you to be able to see the inside sorry about all that dust this has been in a spare room for a long time but there's holes drilled in there that that hardware comes through and you can stick a screwdriver in there and hold that spot and all that what i'm doing is sticking my finger in there stick my finger in that hole and holding that screw still and then i'm going to twist from out here and boom it's off and then i will uh take pop that screw out of there and it's so short you got to pop it out of there with something and i got one of these little smell good straws that uh from zum which is a, a natural air freshener thing anyways put your screw back in your hardware right now and if if i was leaving these in here to paint which is what most people do uh i would just put this hardware in these drawers so you remember which piece of hardware goes to which drawer that shouldn't matter in the long run but uh sometimes it does so it's just best to keep it together now i could put a piece of scotch tape on these and keep them in there but what i'm going to be doing is let me get this in here before i forget it because i'm not going to use these on this piece uh you'll see more of that later but i'm going to save these they'll be good on another piece later on i'm not going to trash them junk them or lose them but i've got let me see if i can turn this whole thing and you see i've got all the drawers out already the hardware off of the rest of them all of them clean and they're lined up right there ready for me to paint and then this is stripped down and ready and just as another fyi i got this marked down to half price it's a toolbox at uh tractor supply the other day and how cool is that for easily being able to tote all my brushes i've got some waxes up there and then inside here i've got some paints and some other carriers so i normally use like a 31 bag and i've got them everywhere this holds everything neatly and organized. I'm gonna use uh, the same brushes I used the other day whenever I start painting, which were the new um, unnatural bristle ones from Dixie Belle. And I'll use that when I'm applying the paint, but right now I'm, I'm using, and I'll use my paint pixie brushes for some of it, but right now I'm just using this chip brush to hurry up and get this slick stick on here. And what the slick stick does, and this is by Dixie Bell, is take a slick surface like glass or metal or laminate or varnished or whatever, and it make and it's like a primer, but it goes on there and takes the slick surface and makes it accept the paint. So then you can do, after you get it on here, and I did this on the other piece, do a scratch test to make sure that none's gonna scratch off to where you get back down to that slick surface so that this will last with the new colors that we put on here 
you know, from now on for a good amount of time. You don't want to go to all this work trying to make something look nice and then end up with a scratch and a messed up finish later on. That would just be heartbreaking. So I'm going to the extra steps. Some people use, uh, like the, I think it's Zinser, Zinser 32 or 123. I think is uh, one that uh, I've used on other projects and that some people use. But I wanted, I was anxious to try the slick stick and I was impressed and I'm gonna stick with this from now on. <laughs> There's our karaoke thing over there talking about fun with the grandkids. Everybody thinks they're a superstar when they come over here. My little grandson Jackson, oh my goodness, he is a ham. He gets on the karaoke at Christmas time. Shelton and Jewel and Jesslyn, other grandkids, they all gonna be superstars one day. <laughs> That's something. They are all hard workers, but they serenade me quite often with the karaoke microphone. I am not going to recoat the whole thing. I'm going to recoat because I tried this on the smaller piece and it worked. So I'm just telling you what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna recoat the top. I'm gonna recoat the tops of the drawers where they'll get a lot of use. I'm gonna recoat next to where the handles will be because I bought new hardware handles. Gonna recoat where those are gonna be. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna recoat those side panels. It will probably never, ever, ever be touched there. I believe with all my heart, and it worked with the other piece that uh, one coat of this primer is gonna be enough to uh, help the paint that you normally would not uh, need primer with, anyways, to stick to this surface permanently. So on the areas that are sort of high traffic, that'll get high use, tops of the drawers, this top edge right here, where the hardware's at, your finger's gonna be touching it all the time, the very top and the corners and the edge of that surface, and maybe more on this little bitty drawer, because your hands will be more on it as you pull it out, I'm gonna put a second coat. These areas right here that go between the drawers will probably never get touched again forever hardly. So I'm not gonna put a second coat there. I'm gonna paint directly over that. I'm seeing a little bit of a run there. Uh, so I'm not gonna put a second coat there because I'm thrifty with both my time and my products. 
but the areas that I'm worried about later on, like there's going to be lamps sitting up here, and there's going to be change thrown on here. There's going to be books sat here, and there's going to be electronic devices sat here, grabbed back up with the fingernails. There's going to be so much use on the top surface that I'm going to put that second coat on there because I just don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to let that dry for about an hour, put a second coat on there, and then next time I see you, we're going to be putting um, paint on here. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped you, and I'll talk to you soon.